Thomas the Tank Engine was feeling very happy. His blue coat shone in the sun. He was right on time. And all around his branch line, the countryside seems prettier than ever before. He whistled. And Percy hurried away. Meanwhile, Stepney was puffing steadily along his line. It isn't very long, and that made him feel a little sad. Later, he saw Rusty. The little diesel had helped save Stepney from scrap. Replied Rusty. Stepney soon discovered that indeed he did. That evening, he had exciting news. Sighed Stepney. They set off next morning. By now, all the other engines were talking about Stepney. Said Percy. Thomas was feeling a little jealous. And he huffed away to fetch his coaches. Squeaked Percy. But Percy was wrong. The signal dropped and from far away an engine whistled yelled Douglas. Stepney puffed proudly through the junction, said Edward. Then Stepney set off to help Duck shunk coaches in the yards, and they worked happily together all afternoon. At last Thomas arrived. He was hardly out of sight when the engines heard shouting at the station, Moments later came the alarm. The signalman answered the telephone. Thomas was impatient, said his driver. Soon they heard an unfamiliar puffing sound. There was Stepney with his headlamp swaying and, and whistle blowing. He gathered speed and disappeared said Thomas, the tank engine. Next morning, he was still fuming, said Stepney. Finish, Thomas, said Stepney. Thomas felt much better. He couldn't be cross anymore, and he began telling Stepney all about his branch line.